Hey, what's up everybody? Shannon from Lord Hog Overland. And we are heading to Canada. How cool is that? I am uh, currently following Scott from Trail Expedition, who invited me on this trip. So, family staying home. It's me solo. So, me and Scott are going to go up to Alan Alona Bay area. Uh, bet you want to falls. We're going to do some trails, do some camping, and probably see some really cool fall colors. So, I'm super excited. So, stick around and join us on this trip. Let's go. Six hours later and we made it. We are going into Canada. What is up? We just got to camp. And check this out. That is what I get to sleep to. Scott's still setting up down there. What a cool place. This is so exciting. All right, something Scott doesn't know. It's gonna be the guinea pig, because I'm actually cooking. <laughs> it's so many hot dogs, though. Hey, what's up, everybody? Shannon from Warthog Overland, and we have Scott from Trail Expedition. Hey, guys. We are in Canada, first night was great, and now it's time to hit some trails. It's gonna be a good day.
right, I can say I'm a little freaked out. We're definitely going to be spotting each other through this. All right, here we go. Be kidding me. You know, camera probably does not do this justice at all. 
But that was literally the scariest thing I've ever done. How was that, Shannon? Scariest thing I've ever done. <laughs> of course, I wasn't holding a camera while Scott was coming through, so trail guide status. This was my Oops. line. <laughs> That's why I backed up. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Okay, that was totally the scariest thing I've ever done. But I did it. I'm not that big of a risk taker. So, but there was literally nowhere to turn around. So we were stuck going through this. But since I did it, I'm still shaking. But check out the scenery that we're around. And what's really funny is I knew that was coming. I, I seen pictures of it. I seen some YouTube videos on it. In this morning, I was like, okay, I'm gonna throw up the drone when we go there. Yeah, no, I was too scared. <laughs> I gotta tell you, this scenery is breathtaking. And I'm so thankful for Scott to invite me on this because a little out of my comfort zone but I feel really safe with Scott and a lot of this is because it's new it's a new area to me so but I'm having a blast this is so much fun <laughs> All right, everybody, we met up with Jeff he and some of his friends and family, and he said something. You definitely got to be a crazy American to bring your trucks back this far in the bush. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we are at Tribag Mine. Met some friends from Canada, which is kind of cool. We're going to do some exploring. It's crazy. It looks dark out, but it's only like 2.30 in the afternoon. Hopefully we get to camp before it gets dark.
All right, my Warthog Overland crew that's at home. I have picked up some rocks for you guys. But they are plentiful. I have no idea what I'm looking for or grabbing, but if you guys ooh and ah when I get home, I know I did good. So this is the Tribag Mine. Um, they mine for copper. Looks like they did a lot of core sampling here. Uh, a lot of quartz. And some other stuff I have no idea. So, Adam, it's on you. I'm bringing you a whole bunch of rocks to investigate. And everybody that we've run across on the trail, it's been mostly ATVs and side-by-sides. Obviously, you've seen uh, Jeff say, crazy Americans bringing vehicles out here. But everybody's been super nice, super friendly. And we found out that their moose hunting season just started uh, last week. So glad we started late. Didn't want to interrupt anybody uh, trying to get a moose. So I might not be able to see one because they're probably hiding. All right, we have actually made it to the mine. And the amount of cardio and workout I've done today, it's the most I've done all year. So I will not be crawling into the mine. As long as I don't break a foot. Oh wow, it's cold, it's cold. All right, you guys ready? There it is, the Tribeca, Tribag mine. And what we were told you could go through that door and in there about 100, 200 yards. But, yeah, not me. <laughs> It's pretty cool. Oh, Scott is definitely going in there. He has a headlamp on. It it's okay for 40 year olds. <laughs> 42, you're still good. The 50 year old is going to pass. <laughs> After exploring the mine, and yes, Scott did climb down in there. You're going to have to check out his video when it comes out so you can see the footage of the interior. But this hill that we had to drive up to get out of the mine, it doesn't look like it's much on camera. But the rocks were thick and I couldn't imagine doing this if it was soaking wet. Once coming out of the trail, Scott did notice this house off in the distance on the lake, so we had to check it out. Once we got up to it, it was pretty surreal. Nice little cabin overlooking the water. But then there was a message on the door. The message on the door said, Do you like to play games? I like to play games. Break in and see what kind of games we can play. So yeah. We took in the scenery and hightailed it out of there pretty quick. 
After safely leaving the creepy house, we were heading to a trail called Washout Way. It is getting late, and we need to start heading back to camp. But we are halfway through this loop, and I'm pretty positive we're not going to make it back to camp before dark. So I do see some night wheeling heading our way, and no idea what to expect. Pine tree car wash. Oh. So, I've said it multiple times. <laughs> it is not black Jeep friendly out here. So, if there's any detailers in Muskegon and you want a challenge, hit me up. I'll let you do a before and after with no problem and I'll film it. Oh, listen to that. <laughs> Thunderbolt through its paces. I've actually put, Scott has put me through my paces. Thunderbolt had no problem, it was me. <laughs> Alright, for 
being 55 degrees out, it is very hot. The combination of stressful situations, running back and forth to get cameras. To the trail is winding out and there is no, uh, nothing to drop off of. Oh, Percy, did you hear that? No more drop-offs. Oh, I can breathe a little bit. Probably been holding my breath for the past 25 minutes. Wow. <laughs> With daylight fading away, we have finally hit the trail that our camp is off of. Not knowing how far we have to go, it is time to start heading into the darkness. And it's going to be pretty interesting considering everything we've already experienced on this trail loop. camp safely and yes it was pretty dark but day one is complete thanks for joining us on this journey hit the like and subscribe button my name's shannon and this is warthog overland stay tuned next week for day two